We've got here two objects attached by a string, okay, and the string is over a smooth pulley. So the string has been looped around the pulley there, two objects either end. So we told the weight of A is, uh, the mass of A is 5 kilograms, so the weight will be 5G. And we told the mass of B is 9 kilograms, so the weight will be 9G, okay. So think now, if once this is released, what direction is going to go in? It's pretty obvious, isn't it, that um, because B is the heaviest, okay, it's going to be accelerating that way. B is going to be moving downwards, A is going to be moving upwards. So we're just going to look at the situation as it moves like that. Obviously, we're going to we can, we're not we're going to think about it moving here, not to when it gets the to the pulley and then it sort of collapses. Okay, we won't worry about that. We'll just look at the initial stages of it. Okay. Um, now there's tension, isn't it? This tension in the string here. This tension is pulling up object A, and with object B, um, if you think about it, this tension here. And holding B back because B wants to fall, B wants to fall, but actually it's not falling under gravity, okay? It's falling a bit slower because that string, which is attached to object A, is holding it back, okay? So the tension there is holding it back. The T's are equal, okay? We'll look why at a later point. So all you've got to do, okay, is apply Newton's second law at A and at B. So if we look at A to start with, well, it's the tension that's pulling up object A. So tension has got to be greater than 5G. So T take away 5G is equal to the mass, which is 5 times the acceleration. And then if we look at, um, at B, it's pulling it down, isn't it? So the weight has got to be greater than the tension, 9G take away T. Okay, the weight is greater than the tension equals to mass times acceleration. So you've got two simultaneous equations, and just like before, we've got to add them. If you add them, it all works out. So when you add them, t add negative t just disappears. Zero, right? Minus 5g add 9g works out to be 4g, okay? And then 5a plus uh, 9a is 14a. So you can then sub in 9.8 for g, okay? So you get 39.2 there. And then of course then 14a, and then to get a then you just gotta divide by 14. And you get your answer. So if I do that on my calculator, I get 2.8 meters per second squared. So you've got your a, and because it's simultaneous equations, once, once you worked out a, you can sub it in then to one of these. So we sub it into the first one to work out t. So sub it into the first one. So t, take away 5g, remember g is 9.8, is equal to then 5 times the acceleration, okay? So t minus 49, okay? And then that will be 14, so that means t then, if you take that over, you get 63 newtons.